Hey everyone, in this video we will talk about cauliflower ear, which is also known as auricular hematoma. It's a condition that occurs when the outer part of ear is injured and blood accumulates in the space between the cartilage and the skin. This condition is most commonly associated with contact sports such as wrestling, boxing or rugby, where athletes are at high risk from trauma to the ears. However, it can also occur due to other types of trauma to the ear, such as from a fall or a car accident. When the outer part of the ear is injured, the blood vessels in the area can rupture and bleed, leading to accumulation of blood between the cartilage and the skin. As a result, the ear can become swollen, red, and tender, and may take on a deformed appearance over time resembling a cauliflower. If left untreated, it can lead to permanent deformity of the ear and hearing loss. This is because the accumulation of blood can cause damage to the cartilage, which is responsible for providing shape and support the ear. Treatment usually involves draining the accumulated blood and applying compression to the affected area to prevent future bleeding. This is typically done using a needle or a small incision to access the area of the hematoma. After the blood is drained, the ear is compressed with a dressing or a compression device to prevent the hematoma from recurring. This process may need to be repeated multiple times until the hematoma has resolved. In some cases, surgery may be necessary to repair the damaged cartilage and prevent the recurrence of the hematoma. This may involve removing damaged cartilage and reconstructing the ear using synthetic materials or tissue from other parts of the body. Of course, I would recommend prevention. Wearing a protective gear such as headgear or helmets during contact sports can greatly reduce the risk of injury to the ear. If an injury to the ear does occur, seeking prompt medical attention is important for the prevention and minimize the risk of permanent damage. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to watch our pseudo folliculitis barbe video. You will like it. And also teenage barbe video. These videos about beard and I will would recommend you to watch. See you on the next one.